Regular people versus people with augments. That's... Listen, let me tell you something, brother. Ignorance runs wild on you. <laughs> like, I mean, you know what, though? It's justifiable, because... Oh, well, yeah, because of... I mean, we didn't really play the first game, but from what happened, it seemed... It made sense. Well, I mean, it makes sense, because you got people... You who, incite fear who doesn't have any form of understanding. It's not even a form of understanding. They aren't necessarily people anymore. Yeah, essentially, if you have a chip that literally dictates their action... Who's to say exactly. what part of you is you anymore? If exactly. you have something that literally controls who you are. You know, the, so mantra, weird, though. the mantra behind racism is like, you know, there are people who look at other people and they look at their color and believe and put some kind of, you know, negative condemnation behind them. Whereas we all know people are just people. But when you have people who are physically and mentally augmented, they're no longer probably thinking under the same context. Yeah, as regular people. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, the way they go about things Their is different. Their line of thinking is different. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is that they don't understand why it happened the way it did. Like, I don't know how the government... I don't know how the government really decided to cover that whole situation up with the everybody freaking out and everything like that. They didn't cover it up. It's clearly happening. It's a global thing. Yeah, but they didn't mention it. Like, Jensen was aware that one man started it by hitting a fucking switch and making everyone go fucking haywire yeah. against their will. And I'm sure they didn't want it, but they started beating each other up to, to rubble, <laughs> to dust. More or less. Basically beating each other to death. So the humans are looking at this shit, they're like, and they're not understanding the why the hell all these... The, all these collective augs are killing them. These augs are bad. Stay away from him, Jimmy. That man's evil. But I feel like, you know, that form of ignorance is ignorant. This is my ship. You can't have it. Nobody can have it. It's mine. Maybe it's the okay? viewers, too. No, it's not that it's mine. No. See, he's got pink titan right no, here. Don't pink. worry, guys. I'll, I'll throw him out of here. Okay, no, titan. You, you guys can get into it. Don't worry. My it, name is Peter good. Griffin. And you, and you support this weapon? I'm and just... I support this weapon. Now it's... Ow, Peter. <laughs> Ow, Peter. You know, I, I, can do, I can do a uh, Cleveland voice real oh. well. Can I do a Cleveland voice? How do, what, does, what does Cleveland say? I don't know. You tell me. Ow, Peter. <laughs> what? Ow, That's the... Peter. Ow, Peter. Peter. Peter, you want to go down to the bar, Peter, and get some drinks? That's not bad, right? <laughs> Four to ten, we'll not listen to it again. <laughs> <laughs> But Peter, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. To what? What are you doing? What <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Mankind divided. What are you doing? Deus Ex. Ricky Mario Pink Titan. Scare back the shit out of me. With another. <laughs> Simmer down like a pot of stew. All right, woman. That's not a. Is it a woman? You didn't even justify that. Did you? Did she's she's triggered. I just judged her gender. It's over. You did. Triggered. Yeah, triggered. Triggered. <laughs> I mean, uh, what was it? She she's a uh, she's um. What well, was that gender? That they come up with, I'm, I'm, I identify as a something. Transgender? Nah, 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 nah. It's something that is a gender that they choose and is not forced upon them. Gender neutral? Gender queer? I don't know. No, no, no. It I has to do know. with the fact that you can't tell me I'm a girl. I can say that I'm a girl. Or you can't tell me I'm a man. I can say that I'm a man. Don't you don't know. force your gender on me. I tell you my gender. Every Instagram meme ever made. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I do know this place has burgers. Show and map. <laughs> I identify as a cat meme. <laughs> Wait, what? I identify as a cat meme. I sexually identify as a... <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> As a what? I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. A <laughs> <laughs> rolling on the floor copter. <laughs> Rick, that's not funny. I also sexually identify as an attack copter. Don't you? We, we need to both, like, attack helicopter things together and we'll procreate attack helicopters. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> this is good. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sad. just like reading. I'm trying to find something and I'm clearly getting deviated with something else. I sexually identify as a tropical fruit salad ever since <laughs> I was a boy. I dreamed of. As a tropical fruit salad? <laughs> tropical fruits dead. <laughs> ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of displaying ripe and juicy melons to passengers at modest prices. <laughs> 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 at modest prices. People say to me that a person being a fruit stand is impossible. And I'm fucking retarded, but I don't care. I'm beautiful. I'm having a carpenter install oak planks and carve signets and ornate wooden wheels on my body. 
from now on I want you to call me Fruity Tootie and respect my right to sell my melons wow. <laughs> and plantains. If you can't accept me, <laughs> you're a fruit oh fruitophobe. I need to check your sugary produce privilege. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for being so understanding. Hey, Dad, Rick, check your sugary Just produce God. privilege. I sexually identify as John McCain. <laughs> Wow. That's not, you don't want that. <laughs> Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of running three times for president and dropping hot campaign slogans on disgusting Americans. Wow. <laughs> so, so good, so good. People say to me that a person being old, anal fart is impossible and I'm fucking retarded, but I don't care. I'm beautiful. I'm having an unpaid intern install a longevity inducing exoskeleton and having an infinite campaign button dispenser on my body so I could live and run for president forever. From now on, I want you guys to call me Mr. President and respect my right to declare war and oppress minorities needlessly. <laughs> if you can't accept me, you're a Republicanophobe and need to check your civic privileges. <laughs> what? Thank you for being so understanding. You've done it again. This is not where I wanted to go. This is not where I wanted to go. Nice work. I sexually identify as NFL referee Ed Hochu <laughs> Julie. <laughs> what? Oh, is this where I need to be? I heard something. Come on. Wait, what? You're telling me I can't walk in here? I just opened the door. What are you suspicious about? Why is that a thing? I don't think you belong in there. Okay, no problem. So if I make a lot of noise here, will you follow me? There you go. Come on. Over there. He's gonna shoot. I'm sure. I'm authorized to use deadly force. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Chill. I'm Chill. authorized to use deadly force. Chill. Chillax, bro. Chill. Oh, there goes his kidneys. There you go. Chill out. Let me get out of here. Give me your stuff. Let me get out of here. I'm searching. Oh, Shiatsu! Hurry! <laughs> Rick, I screwed up. Rick, I screwed up. Panic! If I leave the city really quick, move! I didn't even and I'm gonna get in the appropriate tr cart too. Uh, go here now. Yes, go. <laughs> I'll take the train casually. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Do you see a problem? I don't. I see no problem. I sexually identify as a train. <laughs> I sexually identify as a person trying to look cool on a train. Okay. Everyone's cool. Everyone's calm, quiet. There's no troubles, no problems, no BS. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's do it. Take two. Is that guy still asleep? Tell me he is. Oh, they're waking him up. Damn it. Come on, don't wake him up. Let him sleep. Make sure I'm at the right place. I'm at the right place. Yep, the governmental office. There's a dick in here being a dick, though. Like, you're telling me I can't walk in at all? Why do you need to even go in there? I have to. It's a part of the side quest. I want to get You're doing a side quest? Yes, because we're leaving. And if we're leaving, I, we might not come back. And if we don't come back, we have, like, unused experience. We need the experience, Rick. Mm. We need it because without the experience, we can't we can't become super og. You're an anal gender, a gender which fades in and out but always comes back feeling the same. <laughs> I don't get it, but sure, okay. Mm -hmm. Aster gender, a gender that feels bright and celestial. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Astral gender, a gender that feels connected to space. Atmos gender, having a gender which is present but unable to be grasped or firmly defined. Good. Auto gender, a gender experiencing feelings of deep personal one's self. Axi gender, a person which experiences two genders that sit on opposite ends of the axis. One being a gender and the other being any other gender. These genders are experienced one at a time with no overlapping and with very short transition time. What? Bat gender. <laughs> See, nocturnal gender. <laughs> what? What's going on? Why? What the hell just happened? What just happened? Did I miss something? Yeah, you're too busy reading gender shit. I went to, I went to, what? This, you go, when you edit, you see what happened. I can't even explain. Yes. Why? Why did that, why did that just happen? You guys seen it. I don't know why. Someone nah, explain. Crazy. I'm not. Yeah, you crazy. Cut. I'm not, Rick. I wasn't God. just here. I was just, in, I was just in the office that I wanted to sneak into. I knocked out the guard. I dragged his body. And then you had amnesia. You apparently I dragged his body here. It's still there. 
<laughs> and then I, I did this little Metal Gear Solid thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I opened this door. It's still open. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. The camera's looking at me. Okay, then I went, I went behind this guy and I tried to knock him out. I didn't have enough energy because I was invisible. And do I have to unlock this door? You have, you have a key. Good job. And then I teleported back into the train station. It was very weird. Really? Yeah. What, what, what is the train station teleporting part? You, you just seen it, Rick. I did not. You are not producing me what I am seeing before me. Okay, nobody's in PT, here. PT, why ahead. are you lying to me? The camera's in here. Shit. How, what can I do with the camera? What can I do to deal? Can I hack? Yes, I can. Good. Cameras. Get that. Turn that off. Turn you off. And uh, what's all this? Miscellaneous stuff? Whatever. It's all like, deactivated. Activate. Deactivate. Is it? It's deactivated. Good. Okay. Red means off. I'd have to so. Yep, and you're off. Good, good. We did it! Cigarettes, hmm. Now what? Out of order. It's out of order! I have to verify the paperwork. There is. I could have done this differently. I know, but you know. You're you. Well, yeah, I guess I could have done this differently? Maybe just streets. Oh, man. Hop back in it. Damn it, why did I do that? Rick, why did I listen to you? Because I'm amazing. Not why. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure that's. I'm positive that's not why. In Russia, tanks combat drones attacked. Are those guys in Russia? Cops kill you. <laughs> yeah, I went to knock him out, and I got teleported. I'm sure you did. Can I do anything about his computer? I used to play a game like that when I was young. I used to spin the globe, and wherever my finger landed when I went to stop, it is where I wanted to go. Did you actually go to any of those places? I did not, unfortunately. <coughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, you have to activate that. Yeah. Oh! Uh, see? I thought I was a camera. I guess not. Milana, I got into the art permit registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Probably put it in, don't you? Oh, wow, that's... Holy crap, damn, what were you fast? Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Prague is designed to regulate people to death. What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just... Scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. Orenka or the other one? <laughs> I don't know. So quick! Seven! Six! I'm good. Edward's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. He's as legit as he can be. Without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there. Please. Malena. That permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Irenka now? She probably ends up in Golem. Or she gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? No, it doesn't. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. Well then. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Well, we got we did something good, I guess. I don't know if it's that's a victory. It feels like a, a very hollow one. Like now, he will live comfortably, I guess, and she might get deported. Yeah, but I was... figured, I figured, you know, he's the guy out there working. You know, at least give him the ability to move about the city freely, so he can work and provide for his family. But did you see a family? I didn't. I didn't. But I mean, the two of them technically make a, a family yeah, unit. So you know, it, it just. It's not, you know, the kid and the dog type thing, but it's a wife and a husband. I feel bad. Oh, well, bad feelings gone. Let's see, what's next? I said this guy. What? I can't hold on to those things. No, I'm not doing Evil! that Evil! Now I gotta find the source of the hack. Evil! Let's do that. Someone fucked you up, guy. You're all kinds of Keep jacked up. It's called misjudged justice. Does that look like the Statue of Liberty or something? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. It's the I see the Lady gown. Liberty is a, a lady, and you know that looks kind of like a dude. Okay, it could be Mr. Liberty. And you know I don't want to say what it looks like because everyone's getting triggered. So, you know, but too late. I'm triggered from your triggering. Don't so trigger my trigger with sandwich? another trigger. You trigger. Can you give me a sandwich? Can I eat a sa I want a sandwich. Can These I are, eat a sandwich? This is salads, sir. I got the right to refuse service to anyone. 
I do not do business with clicks. Insert N word. Word. <laughs> I'm, I'll make my own food. How about that? That's what I think. This is what I think of your establishment. Yeah. This is what I. Yeah. Slamming doors on the way out. <laughs> uh. Angrily. Angrily. Gingerly. Yeah. There we go. They don't have a bridge connecting? Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, you could just hop into the apartment. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's just open the window and enter that way. Criminal activities afoot. Futon living. Isn't that... Oh. It's, well, a, it's a butterboard and junk. Looks strangely archaic still. Yeah, they're really impeding you. They'll definitely stop you. Access granted. They'll definitely stop you. You never know. Uh-huh. Mail. K is getting antsy about the next issue. I told him we should deal with the moon base story, and he freaked out on me. Seriously? How are we not leading this story with the story? Oops. Anyway, he wants you to come in so we can talk all about it. Just make sure you're not followed. Uh -huh. Bones won't shut up about the moon base. I keep telling him we have no facts, but he just won't let it go. I want you to go back. I want you to get. Damn it! I want you to get back as soon as you can. I need to talk about the next issue. Someone who cares about more revealing something about astronaut cosmopology. Okay. I have great respect for you. Do none of this stuff has anything to do with what I'm looking for. Okay. What's this? Why are you online? Oh, Shiatsu. Uh. Grill, stall, and inquire. Stall, yeah. Do not confuse anti-establishment with anti-punctuality. Sandez is counting on you to dug up whatever uh, Pro have do for the next issue. Uh. Dovas for the next issue. Same place I was yesterday and the day before that. I really thought he was just going to end uh. with that. Thank you for letting me know this information. End of conversation. Good job. Little K. <laughs> Little K. <laughs> Unlike Special K or Big K. That's so lame. Shut up. <laughs> just saying. No, you, you just, just shut up. I'm just saying. You are insane. Hey, Ricky has a mic. A mic stand with a You're mic. You're insane. My mic is better. It's a boon. It's cool. I do kind of like that stand, though. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. This apartment's nice. This needs a little furniture, you know. And you mean the you rich know. place? The rich yeah, area? Yeah, this is nice. Can we, like, take over this apartment? Can we just have it? No? Yeah, of course we can. This guy's heating we? his beer. This guy's gross. He likes warm beer. Kind of like hot sake. Right, if you want a warm beer, then I'll give it to you, okay? You'll drink it, right? Yeah, sure. Warm, hot beer? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm holding you to your word. If you don't have it, wow, look the at that shower. shower. Oh, my God. That oh, shit looks amazing! So oh my big. god, I wish I had a shower like that. And that tub is shallow, nah, but I can, I, I can deal tub. with it. No, nah, no, nah, fuck the tub. I'm all about that shower life, bro. That is nice, and the sink's so nice. damn. And for some reason, I, this guy can't look at himself in the mirror. He's a vampire. Team Yo, Edward. seriously, though, that shit looks amazing. Let's get out of here. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Samus Dad. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Che. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. <laughs> because Great Wall and Chinese. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Clever wall word play guy you. <laughs> uh. Get off your phone. Stop playing Pokemon Go. No, seriously. It's like South Park. <laughs> you never catch the Pikachu. <laughs> it would be funny if everybody was on their phones. Oh Mr. Liberty, we'll be back for you. <laughs> we won't. He's aptly named Mr. Liberty. <laughs> Mr. Liberty. Yeah. Stop it, Rick. You're triggering him. He's yeah. triggered. Look at all those pills in the sky. Oh, shit. He's barfing it. Oh, that's cool. Or he's eating them. Eating or barfing? Dr. Mark, tired? Take these energy pills. Wow! Nemphrazine or whatever the fuck First it is. Versa life. Yeah, but what is that? N the fucking pill they were talking about. Wake up, get more done. Oh, weakness. breakable wall! How? Shotgun punch! You broke a nice bathroom. I did. The door of perception? I don't know. Oh, this intersects with another side quest. See, Rick? I told you it was a good idea to do this. You can knock three stones out with one big rock. Apparently. One in here? Nope. Nobody like to live in their nice places. Ooh, look at this. Oh my god. It's a cleaning room. It's a huh. cleaning room. Oh. Oh. This is Consuela's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Need more lemon pledge. Oh, Consuela. Take all that and... You're already unlocked. Awesome. 
Dear cleaners, I heard about a new service in Prague that makes special deliveries, organized parties, and secret, secret raves, raves in, in the, the sewers. sewers. Any sound familiar? If there's any way to get Neon without going through Bonbon bon and her gang, I want to know about it. The world is so black and white, but Neon is color. Neon is life. Please, I can be discreet, and I can pay. What, Katarina. Sh what? Shrek is love? Shrek is life? Yep, that's what it is. How much would you pay for an apartment like this? Duh. I don't know. Take a look. I don't know. It depends on where it is. Like, this area isn't very good, so considering where I am, I wouldn't pay no more than maybe 600 a month for this. Yeah, they'll never give this, you that shit. <laughs> but this area, look at the area, Rick. It's all about area. Location, location, location. Hood. If this was in a, <laughs> this, if it's in a hood, what, how hood? Doesn't matter. This shit still costs an arm and a leg in the hood. Depends. If you're down mm -hmm. south, you can get this. You can get an apartment like this for like no, 400 no, no, no. a month. New York, dude. New York? Oh, in New York, this would be a... Uh, uh, twelve hundred dollar. Probably more than that, dude. Nah, one bedroom apartment, twelve hundred. No. This big, yes, twelve hundred. Looking like this? Well, this is this is the after product of you know people putting things in places, but just bare bones. You know, stove, kitchen, you know, stove. Uh, and a ceiling that high? A ceiling that high? Oh yeah, the ceiling is rather high. Come on, that's two K easy. Yeah, the ceiling is high. If the ceiling was about maybe. Eh, Right there, that'd probably be about 1200 But the fact that it's like two person lengths high and then some says a lot. Yeah. This has been an episode of Interior Decorating brought to you by Pink Titan Channel. Ding, ding, ding. Subscribe for more. Wait, so what the hell am I doing here? I don't know. You tell me. Door? Door. There it goes. There it is. Uh, See, I knew it. Diligent, diligently <laughs> searching for things and you find things. And you eventually see the clipping. Wow, there's an actual vent leading to this place? I guess so. Holy free holy, man. Turn around, turn around. What are you doing? What? There's a fucking keypad right there, dude. Oh, I didn't see that. Can't <sighs> hack it, and I don't know the key. Fuck! Yep. Okay, well, that ends that. I said that Whee! ends that journey. So you can't do that quest simply because you're retarded to hack. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to use that type of salty language. But you know, the show is getting edgy. Uh... Hi? Did you... Who, who the hell is her? No, she's nobody. It's over here. Move the boxes. Move all that shit. It's in the way. Not that. The the, the, the fridge... The, the huge rectangular shit. Move that shit out. Throw it out. Oh my god. Oh. I am so sorry. <laughs> I... Are you just knocked out? Tell me you're asleep. Please tell me you're asleep. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Yo, PZ, why Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not mean that. That was funny, though. I did not mean that. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked up. I apologize. Fucked There's a code for this? 543. <laughs> You're a fucked up individual. 91210. Open. Yo, you a messed up guy. Oh, oh. put the gun down. These guys are hostile. I mean, not necessarily, but we don't know. I guess they can be hostile, I suppose. <laughs> Red I, means bad. I need, I need battery. Yeah, I need some battery. Yo, you literally just killed that homeless person. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really am. Seth is not going to like this. I feel bad. You Do you? Do you really feel bad? Yeah, I do. I'd like to know if you really actually cared about what you did or thrown at that person at that given moment. Eh. No, that's smoke. Is it? Is it not come on? That doesn't do anything. Yeah, nothing. Keep working, people. Nothing is unusual. Oh, okay. Conversation time. Good. Don't shoot. Shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam as dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and a, and a collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose? You break my nose. All right, we can start with that if you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We don't have to start with that, do we? <laughs> How about we skip being courageous and move on to why I'm here? Hey, I'm not the one of the problem here, man. So you say whatever you came to say. I'm listening. It's what I do. Close my eyes and listen to the whispers in the dark. What do you know about Praha Dovos? 
that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of many. Pull them all back and you'll find... them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's... there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's death is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes Media Network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. I need you to stop looking into Prahandovos. But not for the reasons you assume. You'll relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You got to appease your military industrial masters. You've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dolos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. This isn't a negotiation. The only question I need an answer to is how do I ensure your silence without killing you? You can't. Well, that's a problem for you. Yeah. And you'd also have to kill Bones and Little K, and everyone we may or may not have shared the information with already. So what I'm saying is the only sane thing for us to do in this situation is to try working together. I can be reasonable. Should have stayed away from Braha Dovos, or you should have hid better. You robot motherfucker! No, oh, the truth comes out. Oh crap. Sure you can <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? You uh, mm. Next Good day. Oh, take that old lady. <laughs> Teach you to write for the media. You bitch.
that's how I deal with that. Here you go. Chang, you there? Fuck your side quest. What do you got for me? Took care of Sam's dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I think I made some good points. Now they're sleeping on it. I'll send a team <laughs> over. Pick them up and seize the equipment. Good work, Jensen. My inventory is all oh, just god. Okay. Need there you go. Sort That's a good way of nipping it in the bud. <laughs> sort the inventory out. Yes, but we'll sort that inventory next time. But more importantly, guys. The road to beating PewDiePie starts with you. Turn off that damn TV! And if you don't subscribe, that's exactly what I'm gonna do! Arr! You can't even reach it? Wow. What are you, a midget? Got it. Oh, no. got it. Alright, uh -huh. there you go. Alright, alright. And that one too. And that one too. Screw that! Shoot the TV! Oh, only if you had ammo. <laughs>